Hello, welcome back to Observer. Um, if you remember, we were following the blood trail of the killer and uh, we ended up in a holographic forest. Um, I think this might be actually where the killer used to live with his parents. Um, you've probably seen a bike. Um, I can't, don't know if I can find it again. Um, but the bike is actually quite important and I'll explain why. That's not the bike. <laughs> um, there's a push bike somewhere around and that's actually quite important. Um, okay, let's continue on. And we see that he's gone out here. And um, actually I think there's a card over here. Hopefully he's out of the toilet. Jonas is out of the toilet. There we go, picked up that card. I'm right on your tail. Okay, so basically, um, the blood trail comes up here and it comes to this door. Uh, if I go through that door, then there's no going back. Uh, or there might be a way of going back. Um, again talk about that later but um, we want to try and get as much done before we go through that door so let, let's go uh, into the third floor and examine the third floor which we haven't really done hello what are you doing mm, okay wrong you're trying to get something out of you aren't you you're trying to get something that's contaminating you out. Um, well, that's what I think, anyway. 301! KPD, can we talk? Ugh. Can I take that as a yes? I apologize, not fully in control yet. Reflex action. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't understand. Not surprising. In your condition. You know my condition? Correct. You still have a long way to go. I suppose you're way ahead of me, huh? I am more advanced. Flawed, but nearing completion. Um, so we talked about before there's a real disease in this world where people replace their literal limbs perfectly good nothing wrong with them uh, for prosthetics uh, because they believe that the prosthetics improves them uh, in this cyberpunk world we've got the same thing with augmentation uh, the problem with this disease is they don't regret it once they've done it and also they'll keep going they'll actually replace other body parts because once they've replaced one it kind of starts showing up the other stuff uh, this is the same thing with augmentation uh, tattoos are, can be similar as well nearing completion how completely complete are you 78 percent what happens if you hit 100 a big bang i will be cleansed of what? Cleansed of body, purged of flesh, of excess thought. If there's nothing left to clean, aren't you a little afraid there'll be nothing, period? No. Fear is irrational. Change is inevitable. It is more logical to embrace it. So basically, if we want to get live forever, then what is saying is we have to embrace this idea of... Um, being able to upload our consciousness um, to change 100% to augmentation. Basically become a robot, where we've just seen what Rudy happens to Rudy. Mods don't come cheap. Unless you get them installed in a local fucking ripper clinic. Your logic is sound, but I will not share that information with you. Suit yourself. Oh. And just be aware, the lockdown might be the phage. Of course, I know you're way beyond caring. 
The disease of transition? No. Unacceptable. I am not ready yet. Guess you should have thought about that before you stuffed yourself with moths. Your interrogation tactics are primitive. You call yourself an observer. Yet you fail to observe the basic fallacy in your thinking. How can you be sure I'm an observer? <laughs> it's much more obvious than you seem to think. Yeah, well, if this is an outbreak, good luck to us all. We're gonna need it. Um, the other thing is, as I said before, um, as an observer, we kind of... Um, actually, what I've recently found out too, you can just say kind of Some of these pictures you can stay in front of, and they'll go through all the different pictures. Um, so now this one is sharing a room, uh, a uh, computer with this one, um, according to the logbook. We can see from the names. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah. Looks like there's someone sleeping here. Seems to have some drifters. As uh, some were also using the storage. Did I just swing my arm open for some reason? Uh, what's the code for this one? I just hacked it myself. I, I think. Uh, I'm not actually sure, let's uh, hack it, find out. Okay, so, it's, oh yeah, so you can just hack it, okay. And here we have a very creepy doll room. I don't think there's really much more here. This doll. I, uh, you, you can see that the dolls had some sort of augmentation done on it. I don't know if this is someone trying to come to grips. Um, this is a bit weird. Hollow, horrible. Um, seven deadly sins of holographic interior design. Yes, there is such a thing as too much space. Sometimes the urge to expand your living becomes irresistible to turn a set of drab walls into seemingly uh, endless landscape with the press of a button. What could possibly go wrong? Well, well, you'll find that out when accidentally walking into a wall that you thought wasn't there. Death possession is no joke. Remember I said that um, Chiron had tried to uh, upgrade the slums by using holographic um, uh, billboards as well. The problem was it brought a uh, bird um, plague and uh, half the birds um, died uh, running into them and all sorts of dramas so they and people couldn't sleep so uh, it actually had a negative effect and they stopped it uh, stopped it after implementation um, motion sickness is great to add a little life to your living environment as long as you keep it subtle it's one thing to make the trees in your lush holographic forest sway gently in the wind but too much motion can get sickening literally perfect for anyone who wants to check what flavor protein paste they had for breakfast uh, rich nightmare we get it sometimes we all feel the need to add a bit of flair to our sanctum uh, unfortunately, many of us seem to think that the best way to do it is to create an illusion, superficial luxury, golden arches, or Greek columns ripped straight from a historical hull of it. Do not make your living room seem majestic. So, as simple is often better. Um, people just aren't able to control themselves. Uh, there's a beauty to just simplicity. Um, it's always nice to give your high resolution 
projected a run for its money, but too much detail can sometimes be detrimental. At best, you'll end up seeing every speck of imperfection on an otherwise perfectly nice projection. At worst, you'll be cross-eyed from staring at the way too much detail. Remember, when it comes to holographic interiors, it's the big picture that counts. Hey, at least it was free. Just because it's free doesn't mean it's any good. One would think it's obvious, and yes, countless people still choose to decorate their apartments with horrible, gaudy, hollow projections straight from a pop-up app. Not only do they look terrible, but they often contain illegal spyware that turns your projector into a uh, camera, allowing complete strangers to spy on you in your own living room. Again, uh, freeware isn't always that best, as we know. But even you, when you're in a game and you get free stuff, you don't have to put it in your landscape. Like in a lot of these games, uh, decoration games, people decorate whatever they have. They put it all in. They, they seem to lack control. They, they have to put it into the... No, just put it in your backpack. You don't have to put everything out on show. Uh, or it allows you to also swap things around occasionally. Do a theme or something. I don't know. But you don't just decorate everything in, in your game. Uh, putting yourself out there, it's great to express yourself through your surroundings, but doing so with taste often proves challenging. We've seen uh, far too many hollow projections generated from low resolution family photos, pixelated birds that looked something pulled from a police surveillance camera. Even worse is when someone puts up private pictures that really should stay private. Basic rule if you wouldn't show it to your mother, then you probably shouldn't put it up at all. Um, so that's uh, funny, am I? Joanna, it's been several weeks since I saw you at therapy. Everyone in your group um, is worried sick. Please, you do not need to come to the meetings if they make you uncomfortable. Everyone else has their own way of dealing with things. Um, just let me know uh, you're all right. Actually, who was that? No, no, no. So we've got a Dr. Dursky here. I'm not sure who that is. Again to Joanna. Now Joanna is, as I said, the person next door. So she's getting emails here. Um, it's been several weeks since I saw you at therapy. Everyone in the group is worried sick. Uh, please, you don't need to come to the meetings if they make you uncomfortable. Everyone has their own way of dealing. Oh, I think I just said that. Oh, running away. Hey, I can't make it today. Got some errands to run. I'll drop by tomorrow bringing you something special. Hope you and the baby are doing fine. So I, again, I see this loss of a child, which is kind of um, uh, frequent in a lot of these um, people we're checking into, um, which I, I think is the bigger picture is all about losing out. All right, this one's a bit tricky. You gotta bring this one down first. And work your way across the top layer. Once you've done that, you want to get it down there. Uh, and start working your way through these. Some sort of hallucination mode. I don't know uh, what that scares for. Um, now, uh, as I was saying before, the observer um, seems to be. <sighs> yeah, so this one's not open. Um, but um, who's number 302? Number 302 is Florian.
So I, that, none of the... Uh, I don't think any of the emails were directed to her, so I don't know what happened to Florian at all. Uh, go to this one to the floor. It's the last one to... You got a minute? To to KPD. Sure. Have I been naughty? Just a few questions, nothing to get excited about. The world's at peace, Mr. Observer. Why should I get excited? Well, there's the lockdown. <clears throat> Are you handling it all right? These things come and go. They're inevitable, like the waves of causality. I don't concern myself with petty realities. Mr. Observer. Okay. I'll take that as a yes. You know what I'd do? How come? I can smell your quantum patterns. I've dallied with a few of you digital devils. You smell my quantum what? Hey, I'm not judging. I was a little lost girl once. Low on expectations, high on feed. And now I guess you're just high. Ouch, Mr. Observer. Such words. How they burn like flaming roses. But I'm not into that stuff anymore. Now I live for true pleasures. And pleasurable truths. Are these pleasures pharmaceutical? Look to quantum physics. It holds the answers. You just have to be uncertain enough to look. Anyway, you better be on your way. Good luck. Or not. Okay, so that used to be a hooker, and now she's into quantum physics by the sounds of it. Um, found the meaning of a life. Can change for anyone. So, uh, interesting how there's a... Sort of a whole world has gone nuts into... Uh, uh, we're going to go down, um, but as I said, the observer, he can't help, uh, um, as soon as he jacks into anyone, um, it, it, it automatically um, affects, it, it's like going back in time, wherever you go into, just you being there is going to affect it, there's no such thing as this safely going back in time and not affecting anything. That's impossible. Same with when you're in someone else's mind. Um, it will ultimately affect. I'm looking for... I've uh, redone it so I can open one can for you now. I'm going to show you what's in there. And then the next video we'll catch the killer. I just want to show you this and... oh. And I don't think I am. Um, you can hear it. Uh, what's in it? I still didn't see. It is so hard to open that door. What the hell is that? And you can't open the door anymore. No! There's something in there though. Oh well, if you're able to find out what's in there, can you please share it? Uh, join me next time as we catch the killer. Till then, bye for now.